obviously not all bass players play with a pick. Um, some do. Matt Freeman, obviously, is a uh, well-respected bass player who is known for pick-style playing. Uh, but then there are other bassists that you don't see play uh, play with a pick. You know, you see, uh, like, Victor Wooten. You almost never see him play with a pick. A flea, he's always slapping. You don't see him play with a pick. It's all related to genre, usually, but um, I, being a rock player, uh, or generally a rock player, use a pick about 50% of the time. Um, and I think that when people start out on bass, especially kids, you know, ages from uh, anywhere from 12 to I mean, you can start at whatever age, but generally when I see somebody start out, you know, ages 12 to 20, and they want to be in a band, uh, and they use a pick, I think a, a common mistake that you might be tempted to make, if that's you or anyone who's out there considering playing bass with a pick, is just to use any old pick. Now, to use any old pick, and use a lot of different ones, that is a good way of finding out what pick you like. Or you could just watch this video and get some guidance. I'm going to demo four different picks because there are a lot of different types of picks out there. And I'm going to demo four that I think are great for bass guitar. And if you're a pick style player like myself, excuse me, um, then you'll, uh, you'll find this interesting. Um, is it okay to play with a pick? Yes, it is. It's a matter of preference. It is a type of playing the instrument. A lot of pros do it. In fact, I did a whole talk about that, and I'll, if you're viewing on YouTube, you'll see a link to it right here. Um, you know, there's a lot of styles of music that, that encourage pick playing, and uh, most of the rock styles, punk rock and stuff like that that I have played are a lot of pick styles. So here's what I'm going to do. This is, um, I'm going to show them, explain them, then demo them. Um, I'm into Dunlop picks. This is their yellow one. Um, this is uh, 0.73 millimeters. Um, it's a thinner pick. Now, actually, in terms of guitar picks, this would be considered more of a um, heavier medium gauge. But for bass, it's a pretty light pick. Um, what this is going to do for you is it's going to give you some brightness and some definition. Um, if you're playing with a pick, hopefully you're playing a precision bass. If you're not, um, I would encourage you to try out a P bass. Um, and so when you're playing, you know, it's best with a pick to be down in this region. I mean, you can play wherever you want, but it's best down here. Um, it's going to give you some brightness. It's going to be very flexible. You can do that really fast stuff like Matt Freeman does without too much trouble. Um... And so this is the lightest gauge I'm going to demo. The lighter gauge is going to give you some uh, some brightness that the heavier ones are not, um, and a neat sound. Um, so that's going to be cool. Then also a slightly thicker pick is the blue uh, Dunlop, which is one millimeter. Um, I actually always liked these for electric guitar when I was playing electric guitar, but I, uh, I like these fine for bass as well. It's just... Um, it's just a nice, it's a nice gauge for bass. That's also going to be a bright sound, but a little more punchy. And then I'm going to demo the uh, the pick that is my pick that I used. In fact, I recently did a demo on this pick, which I'll also put right here on uh, for you YouTube uh, users. Uh, and this is the uh, the Dunlop Big Stubby. Um, this one is this uh, transparent purple, and it's three millimeters. This is a heavy gauge pick, and this is what I mainly use for bass. Um, the tone is going to be a little darker than those first two. It's going to be a little darker, um, a little punchier. But for me, in my experience, I've done I've played with this this style of pick live and in the studio, and it is really going to give you a great rock sound. And there's one more type of pick. Felt. Now there are other types of picks out there, but these are the kind we're talking about today. This is felt. This is a felt pick. You can get them at most of your music stores and guitar centers. Um, this is a big, thick felt pick. I'm not even sure what the gauge is, but it's impressive. Um, this is going to give you, with these round-wound strings, um, 
it's going to almost give kind of a muting effect. It's going to darken your sound a lot, but a lot of guys like to use these. In fact, I'd be more inclined to say use something like this for 60s rock, you know, old thumpy thumpy th kind of stuff with flat wound strings. Um, but we'll demo it on these round wounds too, and that's going to give you a real dark sound but a cool sound. And I think there's room for each of them, really. Um, of course, I use the big stubby the most, but let's let's demo these and take a listen to the sound, kind of see what range you're going for, and then um, go and, and get one for yourself. Um, I think Dunlop makes great picks. Uh, I don't know who makes this felt pick, but um, anyway, it'll be interesting to see how these sound. So I'm going to play my P bass with them with the tone open on a Fender 57 Precision. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 